Okay, hello everyone. Victor Momo from Excel Moments here, and I want to walk you through my solution to one of Excel BI's LinkedIn challenges. And like I've said in previous videos, if you are not following the Excel BI channel, then you should be following it because it's definitely going to help boost your Excel formula and Power Query. Okay, now to the problem at hand. So you have a list of American presidents, which is a list that always interests me, you know, and here's the question. Find the list of US presidents where any word in the name starts with B. Okay, so um, you probably would say, yes, Martin Van Buren, yes, starts with a B. But you see that there's some tricky ones, right? Like when you see Rutherford B. Hayes. So now this is not just a B space. It's a B with a dot. Okay, so that one could throw you off, you know, slightly. But the interesting thing I see here is the fact that the individual names always start with a capital letter. So it means that in this case, I don't need to, you know, write a very tricky formula. I can just look for capital B. Okay, so that's the assumption I'm making, that since each name always starts with a capital, I can just look for capital B. So meaning that I can use, here I would use, you know, the find function because find function is case sensitive so that it can find for me the capital that's uppercase B, you know, and not just any B. So I'm going to do find and I'm going to say B right in this range. Okay. So when it finds it, it tells you the position where it's found. If it doesn't find it, it gives you, you know, a hash value error. So you could decide at this point to just maybe do an is number so that you can get true or false, right? And once you have a true or false, that's simple. That's the perfect input for a filter function. So you can just say filter, take all the names here, and then, you know, filter it to give me the results based on true falses here. And that's what you have. So it's relatively simple, okay? But let me make it a little complex. What if there's a possibility that some of the names, you know, do not start with a capital, you know, B? So let me just add in something here. Let me add John. If I say John Brain Tyler, something like this, you can see it gets added right here. Okay, that's because of the capital B. But if this becomes small B, all right, so you don't have that. Let me just, so it's not included. Then let me say I just give this uh, first name and I put it in lowercase, Brian James Monroe. Okay, that also doesn't get added. So how do we, um, you know, cater for situations like this, right? So what I would think about is this. In this case, you may want to now break the names apart, right? And then check the first character of each one. Now, the other thing is that if you look at it well, each of the names, of course, is preceded by a space. So I mean, you have space James, space Monroe, right? So if you look at space B, you know, that may be something that may work. The only challenge with that is that the first name, you know, doesn't have a space behind it. So what you may do is to start each of these names with a space. So concatenate a space with it so that it's more like space first name, space second name, space third name. So that way, if you look for space B, you know, and this time we're not looking for a case sensitive B, then we may be able to get it. So what I mean here is I'm going to do a search right and now i'm going to look for space b okay right now within the text instead of just looking for it within this text here control backspace i will concatenate this with a space and do space and this okay right so that's what i'm going to do so now you can see that here we have a number right because of the b here we also have a number and so on. So now it's pretty much the same thing. I can put an is number here, you know, and this will give me true false. And I can feed that into the filter. So filter and then select this here. And then at the end, close. Okay, so you now have one that can cater for situations where you have, you know, lowercase b and well, irrespective of, you know, the name. So you could have said Thomas, maybe you just put a space, small letter B dot Jefferson. Let's see if this comes. 
All right? So it gets added. Because the trick here is that it's using a space and a B. And it's not also doing a case sensitive search. So this is an interesting one that shows you the difference between search and find, you know, and how to fuse them to solve your problem. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel. Excel moments for now. I'm out.